Yeah, not always, not always. I mean, the fact that we know that it's homicide isn't enough in itself. We just know that she died in the fashion that she died, not that somebody specifically did it or they had probable cause to do it. And so they're still looking for more information. They're still looking for witnesses. They're still looking for statements. They certainly want to talk to Brian Laundry and to see what happened in this circumstance. By the way, you should note that one of the things that the officers did in this case when they were talking to Laundry, notice they noticed the scratches on his on his neck. They also looked at his hands. One of the reasons you do that automatically is you're looking for offensive wounds versus defensive wounds. So in other words, what are you showing on the palms of your hands versus you're showing on the backs of your hands, on your knuckles? on your forearms. Those are all areas that an officer is gonna look for to see if this was much more um, violent uh, or far more inconsistent than what Mr. Laundry is talking about. And Jack, did you pick up, because I think I failed to notice where exactly those scratches were? Well, he mentions his neck and, and that was the reference, but then he references it was a cell phone, which actually, that doesn't quite make sense to me in terms of what a cell phone is. It's a blunt object, which may cause bruising. It may cause discoloration. It may cause bumps, but it's not gonna cause scratches.